Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review today. This one is uh, by Harlem Harland Brewing. And um, they're from San Diego, California. And this is their West Coast IPA. And it comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. And uh, it's Citra and Mosaic Hops. It says, brewed in the West Coast style, our flagship IPA is bursting with hops aroma, hop aroma. Lemon peel, tropical fruits, and citrus notes are balanced by a firm bitterness and round malt profile. And um, embodying the spirit of rolling up sleeves to get the job done, a labor of beer. And um, this is what the can looks like. And it's canned on 2520. So uh, it's about a month and a half old, so it's pretty fresh. Um, I've never seen this before, never heard of it. So let's get a crack open and see what we got here. <laughs> I don't know how long these guys have been around, but it was... Um, about 14 bucks for a six pack out the door so um, once again that's what the can looks like I'm always down to um, try out new beers from I don't know if they're a new brewery but I've never seen this stuff before never even heard of this brewery so I'm assuming that it's maybe a newer brewery or maybe they just finally got it distribu distributed over here to Orange County California Okay, well we have a, a small kind of creamy frothy silky head it's kind of dissipating a little bit we have pretty much a, a hazy kind of lighter amber color as you can see Not super clear. Well, can't really see nothing through it. Try to wake it up before we do the aroma. Alright, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Yeah, right up front you're getting that kind of uh, earthy kind of uh, spices, spice hop. Kind of garlic, oniony kind of hop. And you're getting some kind of like a citrus, slight citrusy kind of a hop note. But right up front it's that um, kind of earthy hops like garlic and spice, onion. Yeah, it's kind of like slightly uh, citrusy with some of that uh, you know earthy spice hop. That's pretty much what I got on the aroma. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, you're getting that on the sip as well. Taste follows the aroma. Yeah. Um, I don't know much about hops. I'm a drinker, not a brewer, but Citra and Mosaic. Whenever I see that, it does taste like that. Um, it definitely has that cit that mosaic and citra flavor. It's more of a um, definitely more of an earthy spice type, garlicky onion type hop, and then there comes through that um, kind of citrusiness.
there's no lingering bitterness on the back end or anything like that uh but it is pretty darn hoppy the ibus are probably up there in the at least the 70s or higher it's pretty darn hoppy try to see what i can pick up as far as a malt note goes i'm having a hard time really generating ahead with this one there we go there is kind of like a bready uh, maltiness to it but it doesn't really stand out it's just there to balance out the hops because it is pretty hoppy Brilliant. excuse me it's pretty darn tasty though that's for sure a little bit pricey 14 bucks out the door it's a couple more bucks than I usually like to spend last train home. It's pretty good. Um, would I buy it again for the price? Probably not. Even though it is very good, it's just um, I pre personally like the more piney and real tropical type IPAs. This one's more of like a garlic, onion, earthy spices kind of like that but it is good it's a very well constructed beer um, it's you know only seven percent so you could probably get away with sessioning with these uh, that's pretty much what I got in this beer it's got a, a medium mouth feel There is a very slight bubblegum note I'm picking up. Very slight bubblegum. Might as well kill it here with you, right? Cheers. That's pretty good. Uh, Harlan Brewing. Not too shabby. Um, if you're more into the garlicky, onion, earthy kind of uh, hops, you'll probably really like this one as far as that goes. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm, I'm probably going to go with um, mm, four stars out of five. It's pretty darn good. It's a very well constructed beer. Uh, I can't find any fault with this one. It's, it's you know, different, that's for sure, than you know usually what an IPA West Coast IPA would taste like just because it's more on the you know earthy side then a little citrusy and then that little bubble gum is in there more on the aroma though with that bubble gum note it's a pretty tasty IPA though that's for sure I'm just going to kill it here with you. Mm, pretty good. I mean, if you're, you want to try something that's a little different than like most West Coast IPAs, you, you might like this one because it is a little different than the usual. All right, four stars out of five it is. Harlan Brewing, West Coast IPA. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. And um, I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe, I'd much appreciate that. And um, that's what we got on this puppy. All right, y'all take it easy and we'll catch you later. See ya.